The length function is used to return the numbers of characters of an input string. And the length function, length is the short form for length. So if we have a, a character value and we want to know the total number of those character value, we can use the length function to get that. So as usual, I would start by writing a comment and you would have the length function. And perhaps I should add this because um, that indicates that it's a function. So let's say we want to find out the total, the total character count of hello world. So we have hello world and we want to know what the total count of this character, this characters are. We can pass the length function and we'll just start with select and then all we have to do is land. We open our bracket. Now we have hello world and when we pass this it tells us the total count is 11 and we can verify this by counting. So we have H, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The space is counted as well. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this tells us that hello world has a total of 11 counts including the space in between hello and world. Now the interesting thing is, and I'm going to copy this and paste, now, if for any reason we were to make a, a space before the first character, and let's run this. So just as the space in between hello and world was counted, the leading space before the first character is counted as well. So by that, now we have 12. The total count is 12 because we have this leading space. Now, if we have a trailing space, in between um, trailing speed at the end of our character and let's run that we see that there is no change to the total count so when we use the length function it's important to note that trailing spaces are counted as a as a value but then i'm um, sorry leading space leading spaces are counted but trailing spaces does not count um, however any space in between our words will be counted as well. All right, let's apply this to our table. So select our from books, execute, and let's say we want to find out the total character count of our of, of, the, of all of our author's last name. To do that, we just select and let's print out the author's last name first. Auto last name. We have the column for that. And now we want the length of the author's last name. Last name. And we have from books. All right, let's run this. So we see that Stevenson as a, a nine character count, Gilbert is seven, uh, Conwell is eight, and Crichton is eight. So the Pierre Stevenson is the longest character count that we that we have. And we can also use the both the concat and len function together within the same query. And in order to have something like we have uh, the name, the last name of our author of our authors. So we have. Now, Gilbert is seven characters long, so we have the author's last name with a count. We concatenate that with a count of the total number of the author's last name. So let's try that out. So we have select, we have our author last name. And we want to concatenate that. And we have, so we have the last name, and then we have is, and then space, 
And then we want the count of the last name. So it's a length, the len of the auto last name. And then we want space. Then we'd say character long. And we'll close the bracket. Then from books. Okay. And we can use an alias here to say as total count, total last name count from books. All right. And let's run that. Okay. So, so we have here, let's just bring this up. Okay. So we have the author's last name. So we have Stevenson is nine character long. We have Cadorn is seven character long. Achebe is six character long. Uh, Nora is four character long and, and so on and so forth.